been a short amount of time, but I am thinking, and I will be very careful with the bag. Are you coming on to me? I would love to inspect our special package and try to understand it better if you want to be present for There's that. There's a lot of people that inspect their special packages. <laughs> you get to know yourself real good, Caleb. <laughs> oh, so I know you are going to drag me over the coals uh, for this request, and that is fine. Um, I would like the dungeon master to fast forward to the car where you tell me if you will allow me to inspect the contents of this haversack. Maybe I'll keep it now, and then I'll come back tomorrow night, and we'll do this again. Just inspect Special what's in the bag. Special packages just and everything like that. I leave. I leave to go on to watch them. Okay. <laughs> she leaves. <laughs> And I look to the mirror in my room, and I'm like red faced, <laughs> and I just stare at myself, for, like dead expression, for like a good thirty seconds. <laughs> oh, I'm not really blushing. <clears throat> yeah, hello. Hello. Are you coming in? Come in. It's open. Oh. This is night time. Uh, this point, sure. I'm definitely in the room. Yeah. Hello, Caleb. Hello, no. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb and I have a date to talk about his special package. Do you need some privacy? No, we're good. I open up the hammer sack and pull out the box. <laughs> you know, to the best of my knowledge, this is, uh, and it's limited, this is a very powerful thing. Mm. And mm -hmm. we are taking a risk. Okay. But one that I think is uh, worthwhile. Okay. Are you still game? Yes. It's nice that you guys are talking about your limitations and setting expectations before you go into this together. <laughs> There's some sort of word that you need, like a safe thing. The red. red. <laughs> the safe word is fjord. Are you going to go all like while you look at it, or are you going to be normal? Truthfully, I have no idea. Okay, cool. You game? Totally okay. game. So I am not coming on to you, but will you hold my hand while we do this? That way, if we, <laughs> I cannot even look at you. <laughs> and let's let's examine it together. And if we go to the nine hells or something, at least we'll be there together in theory. Okay. Okay. We are going to look at this thing. Both of you, or just you? I don't know. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at Caleb. <laughs> I'm looking at the dungeon. All right. I mean, it is no secret that I like these people. So, you know, we're in good company. Yeah, This yeah. is working out. You are, you know, you are capable. And, um... Oh, dear. I'm going to go to bed now. Yeah. Your son um, is just the cutest. my son. <laughs> but I will, uh, oh, this is my room. You have to go to your room. <laughs> okay, well, good night then. Good night. This evening draws to a close. Good night, Kayla. Not weird. <laughs> if you need anything, I'll just Get out, just go, room. just leave. <laughs> Jester goes ahead and drags Caleb into the center of the tavern floor takes hands, uh, and Caleb, almost running on autopilot, does have some minor experience in the past. Caleb, if a moment passes before Jester begins leading you. Yeah. But you guys continue, the two of you, to have a very nice little waltz in the middle Aww. of the area. Uh, uh, you are always a better dancer than me, Astrid. You were so good. Astrid? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, Caleb, you've away. been a good dancer. Uh, oh, Astrid. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Caleb, do you need to go to sleep? Uh, yeah, just walk, walk, uh, stumble away. No, 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 I grab his jacket. Yes, you're way stronger. You are not going to go pass out in the oh street. God. You told me to be in charge of this, and I walk him upstairs and Good make sure friend. he gets in bed. Good Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jester goes and tucks Caleb into one of the rooms in the bed comfortably. Uh, uh blue. <laughs> yes, I am. And you're very nice. 
and a little stinky. <laughs> One of those things is true, and <laughs> you are blue. <laughs> I'm sure Astrid loves you very much. I took him in. Okay. Um, I walk up and I grab his hands. Um, I just want to say, I just want to say that um, I know what you went through today in the cell was very, very hard. Um, and probably didn't go the way you were hoping it would. Um, so if you need anyone to talk to you about it or anything, I'm here for you, okay? Good, good night, but um, you, you look like you're knocking yourself a little bit, and um, I don't think you should. Do you know what I think about the Traveler? I think that he is lucky to have you. I'm the transmutation wizard, but You're the one who changes people. I see it every day. Really? Yeah. You're a good friend. And you move people. I don't know if you see that, but you do every day. Thank you. No, thank you. You know, I think, I think we should go to bed, but I, I want to show you something um, that I've been working on. Um, I don't know what you have planned for TravelerCon, but if I can help in any way with something like this, and um, little lollipops and hamster unicorns that are amber-colored start floating around us. This is wonderful, Caleb. But you have done so much for, for all of us that of course we should do this for you. You deserve it. Thank you. I give him a big hug. Yeah, okay, good night. Okay, thank you. They're pretty. He looks around at them all. They're pretty great. Don't deserve them. Do you love her? Someone who has lost someone that they love very much. I know how important it is to say things before it is too late. that he had done a good job of, of hiding uh, things, and he was suddenly worried that he was transparent, that everyone had been able to read him this whole time when he thought that he was uh, uh, well, he's a little in love with Jester Lavore. Mm. 
Ben has been Is that for you a... or Kyle? No, that was me. Okay, <laughs> I, sometimes Use, uselessly it's a in toss love up. with her. Uselessly in love with her, and has been for for probably. I mean, it wasn't like a, a lightning bolt or anything, but the 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 waltz was probably like a little pebble mm. that started through the entire campaign, making this guy who was all about killing or doing the impossible, that like this is one of the things that just like went yeah, and slapped any idea I had of what was gonna happen sideways. And it just rolled and rolled and rolled. And in that moment, I mean, I think some people see this, like I, and this doesn't play out verbally too much in the show. It's, it's mostly silent stuff, but um, uh, he just was worried that this thing that he's never going to admit to because it's useless uh, she's she's finding herself, and has a has her whole life ahead of her, and and has other people around her who care for her a lot too, who are much better for her than he well, is. Top table just failed their charm save against against uh, Jester. Mm-hmm. And either of them would be better options in his mind, um, and he's aware of of the way those two feel as well, and would never. You know, he's, <laughs> it's just, it's just there in the background breaking, fucking up his bullshit. Yeah. It's a problem, really. It's really just a problem. Yeah. Because he still wants to do the things he wants to do. Um, and it, that's hard when you care so much mm-hmm. about somebody. So many opinions mm-hmm. I'm going to save for the table. I know. Okay. Don't, yeah. don't say shit. Good God, Liam. <laughs> ah! Big, big fucking problem. Can you understand what I'm saying right now? What the shit? What happened to your accent, Caleb? I don't have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> this is flawless Zemnian. Does that mean I'm speaking Zemnian? Does that mean I'm speaking Zemnian? <laughs> well, it suits you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the accent, the, uh, it, it's, it's cute. <laughs> it's complicated. What do you think? Better than I imagined. You were not lying. Oh, oh, oh! Lay down in the bed! It's okay, it's okay, just lay down. Just lay down in the bed, Caleb. I'm, I, it's a little small for, for me, but I, okay. If you lay down in the bed, up on top of the canopy, I've painted a beautiful landscape of the Nicodranis sea line with the lighthouse and everything. So. I am so angry at that die <laughs> that fucked me. Oh my God, I could have been caught in the middle of a bisexual maelstrom with Astrid, Eadwolf, Essek, and Jester all in the same adventure? Wait, Jester? What a calendar. <laughs> uh... I'm glad that you've tuned in for the first time, Sam. Caleb is secretly in love with Jester and has been keeping it to himself the entire time. The first uh, killer whale bumps Jester a little too hard. Oh. And <laughs> if you've ever seen a killer whale, like a giant aquatic creature, like do a big toothy smile. <laughs> oh, I do that thing where they reach in and they pet the tongue. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do it. Yeah. There it is. There you go. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Should I say that? What are these old special? Um, could you, <coughs> could you cast tongues on me? Uh. I mean, you know, the spell where you can make me understand languages or whatever. Yeah, I could do that. Um, I just want to read the book, Caleb. You want to read it yourself? Well, I, I mean. Read it to you if you want. Okay, it could take a while. Well, are we talking about uh, Princeton cat? The other cute cat yeah. with the hat. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, walk us in and sit us down by uh, my fireplace, which has no stained glass window. The furniture in here is pretty nondescript. This is a boring room, Caleb. You really decked everyone else out. Well, it took a lot of effort for you all, so no time for me. Um, Okay, so uh, this is meant for children. Okay. Uh, My mother read it to me when I was very little. Uh, It's called the, uh, The Cat Prince. 
the cat prince. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, once upon a time in a little house on the edge of a great white wood lived a young boy with his mother. It's his way all the way back home. The end. That was a happy story, Caleb. Mm. That's why my mother read it to me. I really thought that, like, the cat prince was going to trap him in there forever and then he wouldn't be able to go see his mom. Well, a lot of Zemnian stories do end that way. It yeah. is true. The it's cat prince wound. kind of reminds me of the traveler. It's true, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. A little dicey, but very likable. <laughs> good in the end, you know? Yeah. yeah. That was a really good story. That I could share it with you. Me too. Thank you. Hmm? Can I have it back? Oh, yeah, it is your copy. It will vanish when you leave here, though, but it is yours. Thank you. All right, good night, Caleb. Yeah, good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that whole fucking book? Uh, some Zemnian wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night. <laughs> well, he is not just an ordinary cat, he is uh, special. Oh. King of cats. He's a cat prince, if you will. <laughs> is he a king or a prince? I... Yeah. He's a yeah. cat king prince. That's, a That's confusing. Prince. Yes. Well, thank you, cat king prince. All right, good night, get some sleep. Good night. Do you think that you would Snuggle? I'd be leaning against lean him. Lean against him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then I would just sit down and take Frumpkin into, into Caleb's lap, and once they dozed off um, silently, just a little recognition. And I scoop Frumpkin up onto my shoulders like a scarf. And just look out through the hole at the top and wait and pass my time. Okay. I'm gonna spiral out. Grab his shoulders and give him a little back rub and say, You can do this, Caleb. You got this. <laughs> Guide the hands. Okay. Okay. If, uh, could I? You have the, my old medallion, yeah? Yes. May I borrow it? Of course, of just course. For, just for this. Okay. I mean, of course, of course. Somehow. <laughs> 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 what okay. are you gonna eat, Stud? Okay. okay. <laughs> You're gonna get hit on so much tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of confusing. Okay. Yeah. So it would have been then. Does she know about the vagina? The vagina. <laughs> Lady D is off the map for them. They do not seem to know why. And I did not get a sense they know about our old friend. Does she think we had a part in my vagina, Lady D, oh. from now on? <laughs> Lady D is a good word. Are you telling <laughs> just me that or the table? <laughs> well, I look to you and say it, but. What is the D <laughs> short for? Dick. <laughs> Ready Dick. for. Richard. <laughs> oh. Good name. Okay. <clears throat> blue screen, blue screen, blue screen. <laughs> blue screen. Um, is, that, is it supposed to do that? Is that good? Go team. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Of course, yeah. I, I need to, I, I'm going to need more time with it. But now we just have to convince him to put it on. It's like it's the no tenth time that I've tried to do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Don't blame yourself for any of this. I know it's kind of what you're prone to do, Caleb, but this is on all of us. We're a family now. This is, this is what we do. And we're going to make it better. Reaches his hand out and just sort of like squeezes the back of her hand on the ground. Yeah, I'll keep trying to remind myself of that. Who, you, Caleb, if you survive and I don't. 
Well, that will not happen. You have to draw a dick in every single temple. Temples you, specifically? Every single temple that you come across, there has to be one dick you'll leave behind. Well, I promise I will. Okay. Caleb, can you, can you put pretty visions on the dome tonight? I start a small fire in the center of the dome. Um, which is not concentration. So a small fire starts up and globules start to slowly rotate around our heads very, very slow, casting shadows that are constantly moving. And the fire, using control flames, begins to take one shape after another.